In this video I'm going to show you how to modify the 2D view of any component of your library when you open it with Debug for SketchUp. In this case I'm going to use a bed from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So I can type bed in the search bar and press enter. As you can see this site has over 20,000 results under this label and they are ordered by relevance. However, I'm going to search by popularity to see the most downloaded items under this label. I'm going to use this bed because it's a classic, it's been downloaded by more than 400,000 users and it's actually low poly, so it will be easier to handle in SketchUp. For this I click on the download button and choose the version of a SketchUp file. After the file is downloaded to your computer, open a new file in SketchUp. Ok, so in order to change the 2D view of the bed, I need to import the component with the back. For this, I click on the component icon and locate the bed in the respective folder. As you can see, the back creates a random section cut of the component to display the 2D view of the bed. Also note that the cursor is grabbing the component from an attachment point in the corner of the bed. We're going to see how to edit both the default 2D view and the attachment point of the component. To change the 2D view we have to do the following. First, insert the 2D component in the drawing. Now go to the default tray of SketchUp. Open the components menu and click on the house icon to see the components used in the current project. As you have opened a new empty file, you'll see only two components, the 2D view of the bed and an additional component which includes both the 2D and the 3D view. Click on this component and place it into the drawing. And now you can delete the 2D component. Ok, so if I edit this component you can see that it includes a component with the 3D geometry and another one with the 2D view. What I need to do is edit the 2D component. To do this, I'm going to select it and move it along the red axis 3 meters. As you can see, it is not a bad representation of the 2D, but let's add more details. There are many ways to do the addition depending on what you have as the default 2D view and what you want to achieve. In this case, I'm going to add the detail of the mattress with another section cut and add faces to assign to the 2D view the same materials as the original component. To do this, edit the component and create a section plane to cut horizontally the mattress. You can hold the shift key to lock the blue section plane. Now right click on the section plane, choose create groove from a slice and then delete the section plane. Now you have a group with the slice which you can move 3 meters along the red axis as you did with the original 2D view and now you can move it downwards to the same plane as the 2D component. Now we need to insert the raw geometry of this slice group inside the raw geometry of the 2D component. To do this, right click on the slice group and explode it as many times as you need to leave the geometry as just lines. Now select all these lines, copy them and then delete them. Now edit the 2D component to access its raw geometry and go to edit and choose paste in place to insert the copied lines. As you can see, now you have all the lines inside the same level and ready to keep editing. As long as you keep drawing in the addition mode of this component, you could delete unnecessary lines. You can also add extra lines and details.
You can also create the faces of the 2D view and make sure to reverse the faces if you have to. Now you can sample the materials of the 3D component and paint the respective faces in the 2D view. Well, after making these modifications, I can click outside to exit the edition mode and move the 2D component 3 meters to place it back to its original position. Now you need to change the attachment point of the component. To do this, you must change the position of the axis of all three components, which are the main component, the 3D component, and the 2D component. It is very important that all three axes match the three components. So let's start with the main component. Right click with the mouse and select change axis. Place them in the back of the headboard. Now double click to select the 3D component. Right click and select change axis and place them in the same position. Now select the 2D component, right click and repeat the same process. Ok, so the component is finished and ready to save. To do this, right click on the main component and choose save as to save it in your library. Now you can open a project in progress with the back to use this component. Select the component tool in the toolbar of the back and locate the bed. As you can see, the component is now attached by the cursor in the back of the headboard and I can easily insert it in this wall. The materials and new details are now visible, which gives to the 2D view a nicer look. And the magic of the back will show the 2D and the 3D in just a click.